When people think of skateboarding, two words come to mind, Tony Hawk and kickflips. Do a kickflip! Every time someone starts skating, all they want to do is learn to kickflip. As a skater of 23 years, I've taught and seen a lot of first kickflips. Usually they take weeks, months, or even years. It doesn't happen in a day. These four people allegedly did learn to kickflip in one day. So I thought it'd be fun to follow along their journey and offer up some pointers that might've helped them learn it easier. Mike Boyd was the first person to do this. He makes videos about learning new skills and thought he'd give a kickflip a go. All right, here we go. <laughs> Honestly, from z absolute zero, that is such a good first ollie attempt. But that's so good already. What I was noticing with the ollie is like, he doesn't really slide his foot, he kind of just lifts it up. It didn't really roll, it kind of just like, went up but I guess he just doesn't really know any better of what he's actually trying to do. Got his first shinners. This can help your confidence a lot if you put shin pads on. I personally didn't do it when I was a little kid. It can kind of help. <laughs> Dang, that was pretty good. He's already like making pretty good progress. Okay, quick update. This skateboard sucks. Okay, yeah, now we've learned that warm up board is not good. All right, we're back in with the real board. All right, this is looking pretty good. Yeah. So this is only one hour of actually trying. That's pretty sick. All right, I like this outdoor attempts now. Now he's kind of really getting it. Dang, that was it. He's really getting the flick now. Oh. Okay, he's so really getting so the I've flick, but he just has to I've jump a bit more. If you ever get to that point where you land, get that close to a kickflip, the only thing that is preventing you from landing it is doing more. If you can jump up, flip it, and land back on, you have 100% got it. You just have to keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. So he's five hours into this, and like, he's definitely got it. If you can do that, you can land it. You just have to try enough time. Yes! Oh. See, like, there we go. Stayed on. That's so sick. I love to see it. Let's go, dude. <laughs> and see, look, he's dialing it in too. Once you learn it, you've got it. Okay, so Mike was the original guy and we got a bunch of other guys. This this guy, Mike Shake, I like that name. It kind of looks like Milkshake. So Milkshake, he does learning things too, same as Mike. And he's gonna learn kickflip too. Me to learn how to kick flip. Let's get it. So I decided to try. I have never skated in my life. So in the beginning, I was pretty scared and it found really hard. Those just shoes to are gonna be a problem. Then I started to move for the first time. Yeah, and at least you got a real board. The skate. And by real, I mean dark I was stuff. pretty bad, but after a few attempts, in a matter of minutes, I got used to it. And it's the only. Dang. This is the most basic skateboard trick. Okay, I guess that's his consistent friend jumping that with the skates. skates. the attempts, I couldn't really do much. <laughs> See, that's then, what first all the attempts are meant to look like. We need to put the front yeah, foot let's near watch the some braille. Of the board, keeping it parallel to the tip. Then we position the back foot to the very back of the skate. Mm -hmm. Now we bend our knees, trying to maintain balance. We push down with the back See, foot keep... and we let the front foot lift up with the board. In the beginning, it was <laughs> How did his really ankle bad. do the first that? The front foot lift up what? with the board. In the beginning, it was still pretty bad. I feel like Mike went in with way more knowledge of skating, whereas this guy is point, truly like, bad happened. has no because idea what he's doing. Because of the continuous rubbing <laughs> against the board, my shoe decided to break. Yep, but luckily my there friend, they go. I began to understand the right motion and the timing of the slide. I feel like he needs to stop trying and like actually watch what his feet are doing because he's jumping with one foot this way, one foot this way, and they're both just going crazy. Like he's not really trying to get the Let's motion see down. The first results. See like, I understood that the board the kept jumping foot. away from me simply because I was leaning back too much with my like, other And once doing I started to fix that, I've been finally able to get my first Ollie. That was good. That was solid. Good pop. There we go. See, his foot was sliding better than mine. But he's just so like now, uncoordinated, it seems Ollie, like. Whereas much Mike Basically, seemed pretty we need to make solid. The board spinning in the air while jumping with Yeah, there we go. In the air, we slide the front foot towards the front side edge of the board. Flicking the edge of the deck with our baby okay, toe so he's starting off the spin to the board. Just doing very flips. I started shining and I was getting decent I mean, results. But I could never get really close, close because honestly. once again, I was throwing the board. What's good is he is actually staying in the air. Most people's problem is when they're trying to spin a board is they'll spin it and then instantly put their feet on the ground. Whereas he actually so did stay practicing. in the air and even if long this enough is to, to be able to land that, which is kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. And over again, I don't even think he realizes that he's doing a very so I decided to take the evening to check my footage. 
<laughs> I feel like he doesn't actually even know what a kickflip is at this point. But I think what would help him learn better is after each attempt, really watch what someone is doing when they do a kickflip and then watch his and be like, oh, I actually need to do that instead of just kind of like trying to will right it around. The boards. I was also leaning too far back while jumping, causing the board to bounce far from me. I feel like this is more realistic than Mike's one. Mike's one, he said he had a skateboard previously, so he did kind of roll around and stuff, and he probably had seen people skating, whereas I feel like this guy truly hasn't seen people skating before. It is a very key flip. Okay, so he's figured out that he is doing a very flip. rotates 180 degrees horizontal. I mean, I guess I that's kind of sick. I check the footage, so I kept trying. And I was actually getting pretty close to landing. Yeah, that Maybe was it. Maybe this was too much for my three days skateboarding career. Oh, <laughs> dang, he actually got hit in the face. For my three days skateboarding career. He's going, <laughs> he's going for it. Sacking, oh, that was it. Trying to jump more vertically, I was achieving way better results. Yeah, there we go. Absolutely he's kind of figuring out the flick left. now. But I was getting closer and closer at every single attempt. Dang, Even that, this time, it really in. seemed impossible. At a certain point, this happened. Oh! Dang. Yes. Was that it? <laughs> like he is hyped there. Exhausted and my legs are <laughs> Dang, we taking that again. <laughs> Look at his takeoff as well. He's his wheel is like not even balanced. That's kind of crazy that he's got his weight like so far that way. I mean, maybe he just needs to tighten his truck to you. I mean, he kind of did it. Regular people, oh my God, so inspiring skaters, I quit. <laughs> he was about to do it legit. All right, so now we got another one from Rommel Henry. This is actually recent. This is only four months ago. I don't have luck at skate parts. So I can't skateboard let's see what we got. to save my life. All right, this seems let's pretty good. It. This seems like First, true non-skating. Oh, the primitive, let's go. Deck with see, like, that's what, that's what non-skaters look for. I don't know much they about look at the graphic. Oh, I hope that's Dragon Ball Z, good. let's go. I spent a while just learning how I would actually stand on a skateboard. Apparently, there are two stances. Oh, that there we go. Goofy and Mongo. We got the my braille in there. Skates Mongo. That's so now funny. Need to find my stand. Wait, what did he just say? Apparently, there are two stances. That being Goofy and Mongo. My <laughs> skates Mongo. Now we need to find <laughs> two stances. Goofy and Mongo. I mean... I guess so that kind of makes back. sense if back. you're a non-skater. Oh, we're yeah, going for Mongo. There you go. I, that's so funny because he must have just watched Aaron's video real quick and just said, what are the two types? Because Aaron would have obviously said, try not to push Mongo, but this guy's like, all right, I need to figure out my stance. Is it Mongo or is it Goofy? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, but this is what you love to see. He's on the journey, you know? See, he hasn't learned how to actually stand. He's just that trying to learn scary. how to push. Oh, that was a risk. That was ultimate risk. Oh my okay. gosh. Well, you gotta bend your knees more than that. It's <laughs> this guy is stressful. He's 100% gonna slip out and fall back. I guarantee. It's only a matter of time. Oh, much better. Yeah, so learn how to ollie. Have Mikey here show me how this. You got it. See, that's, that's pretty typical of first attempts. Because he hasn't actually spent any time standing on the board. He's only been doing this pushing type thing where he's kind of like got his weight on one foot. He got no bearing to like how it feels to stand on it. So he doesn't have the confidence to actually snap down. I feel like I'm too stiff on the board. Yeah. I need to loosen up a little. The best to way to loosen up. Rather than just forcing it. I'm leaning back yes, too much. Yes, is to I roll to around. A bit more central with my stance. What is homie doing in the background there? <laughs> Oh, bro, I guess yeah. that is an ollie. He didn't really slide his front foot though, but that's a kind of my first ollie. Oh. Because his friend is regular, he's standing regular, whereas before he was literally pushing oh, that, Goofy. Yeah. He just tried to copy his friend ollieing regular, even though he felt more comfortable wrong, pushing Goofy. Like, I like but I feel like so he definitely so hasn't put in enough in time ollie, standing on the board. Oh, Dale Decker, hello. It's funny that this is these people's first exposure to skating, so always like the homies. You got it, dog. All right, so instantly we're going heel flip motion. <laughs> he's not actually bending down. He's literally just bending 
his upper body down, he's, but he's not bending his legs, which is like what you actually have to do. Oh, all right, so. That's not bad. Where's his homies? He's literally, go oh, he's literally oh, going for heel flip now. I got the height. The homies don't tell him that he's lacking. riding goofy and trying regular. Be like, I guess this, oh, I, really I guess this is where like, someone that actually understands skating can help them. But I feel like their, their homies are good enough to be able to help them too. Board was backwards, he's popping up the nose. Not that it matters at all to him, but. If this guy can land it, ooh, that was from kickflip position too. Ooh, mini roll. Oh, I think I sprained it. Oh, ooh, yeah, Okay, dang. that was painful, but we moved. <laughs> I need to watch. Cancel flip. If that was it. It wasn't it. It turns out I did indeed flip the ball, dang. but then in midair, it flipped back. That's not a kickflip. <laughs> Get it, dog. I will be very surprised if he can do this this day. <sighs> See, he's really just not bending his knees at any point, even on the pop. <laughs> Dang, he actually did it. That's actually wild. He committed as well. The goal was to All land right. this in 24 If this homie hours, can heel flip, you can definitely learn to heel flip. <laughs> that, that is sick. Guys, I'm so proud of myself. Damn. Such a long way in Good such work. a short time. I'm learning how that was to incredible. Skate YouTube commenting? That custom made skateboard is sick. Dang, YouTube like the primitive Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> Who's gonna tell him it wasn't a kickflip? All right, we got one more and it is from Buzzfeed. So I got high hopes for this one. <laughs> When I was Primo. a kid, I Dang. wanted nothing more than to be able to kickflip. I thought I looked so cool, but I yeah. couldn't pass the mental hurdle. I'm I feel like this guy's going to have some experience. So I my friend Alex. Boom. Interesting foot position there. <laughs> that was pretty good, actually. All right, so... Let me put on my helmet. I feel like this environment is pretty tough to learn. Kid, this ground seems hockey. like really so slippery. If I were to today, I mean, that would be incredible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good. Pause. One, two. Not like a boom. Yeah, see, hey. this guy's got a good teacher. Ooh. I feel like Pushing with a good down, teacher, it will make a bit of down. difference. Wait, we got a tally counter? I mean, that was pretty Whoa. good. I'm already getting tired, I'm already getting sweaty. I, can you really just land it in this scenario? I'll be pretty impressed. Let's try a heel flip. Here we go. Dang, he knows what a heel flip right. is at least. Yeah, okay, there goes some attempts. Oh my goodness, Matt. If I 40 attempts? With my front foot on the board, Dang. I would have gotten it. Right now I'm making progress. That was only 40 attempts. I don't know about that BuzzFeed. I, I don't know how capped this is. Where my back foot that on seems it. like he has skating flip. experience. Flip. The, one foot down. Yeah. I just get both down. the last homie was true zero experience. Now that my teacher's here, I'm getting, uh, hey. I'm getting mm. nervous now. I'm suspicious. Like yeah. Let's see Pretty how many attempts down. he lands it in. If it's less than 100, this video is definitely capped. This is kind of wild. I actually really don't know what's gonna happen. Dang, that was that was close though. If he just jumps up a little bit more, he could land that. See how he's committing onto landing on the upside down board is like a good sign. Oh my god! <laughs> nah, this is for sure fake. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, this is definitely cap. Oh my god! I feel like oh when he was a kid, he tried God. to learn to kickflip and maybe landed some. Oh, and then they said like, let's it. make a video. I think this guy definitely Can had done that before. It. No so way. So now I want to try it with you here. Let's see if you gotta make sure it wasn't luck. All right, I, I don't know about this, fam. He got both ankles strapped. See, like how does he know to strap his ankles? <laughs> so here's the thing. I mean, I that was a real slam. 
I did a kickflip today. I don't know what more else I could really ask for here. All right, let's see these comments because this got me suspicious. Couldn't have picked a West Flow to try on. Yeah, that's true. So he can barely pop and then do kickflip, brah. Yeah, see? He can't fool skaters. He still did it, yeah, but I mean, he landed it. I'm gonna go and say that this video is fake too. And, and I think in the way that homie, oh <laughs> look, Aaron. Homie could do it before or could sort of do it and then he just really pretended in those beginning attempts. That doesn't seem legit. But anyway guys, that is it. And remember, if you wanna see more React type videos, you can check it out on my second channel. Ricky Glazer doesn't sleep, but that is it. I'll see you in the next one. Alex K.